Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the amazing realm of weather, fact, and fiction. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. We start off with a trivia question on next case here from the paper prison. The question, what is the technical term for someone who hates pain? Multiple choice, inverse alphabetical order. Is that a tomophobe, paganophobe, iophobe, or algophobe? Now the prize, the only prize for the correct answer, one pat on the back you'll have to administer to yourself. Heck of a lot better than a slap on the belly with a wet trout. Now is that your final answer, an iophobe? No, it's an algophobe, and for the record, a tomophobe hates surgery, and a paganophobe hates beards, and an iophobe hates rust. Now, there's a new study from the University of Sydney in Australia regarding low back pain. It's estimated that virtually everyone on earth at some point has suffered low back pain. Ow! And that at any given moment, one-third of the population of the world is suffering from it. So it's very extensive. The idea that weather causes low back pain actually dates back to the Roman era. But apparently there's been no exhaustive study to determine if this is actually true. That is, until now. In the study from the University of Sydney, 993 low back pain patients were analyzed and their conditions correlated with the weather. The bottom line, there was absolutely no correlation. No correlation between their pain and rain, wind, air pressure, humidity, or temperature, either hot or cold. In other words, they're saying this is a myth that the weather causes low back pain. Now, I'm sure there are individuals out there suffering low back pain who believe the weather is causing it, but this study refutes that idea. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes.